Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'm doing the Fender Play Level 1 Acoustic Guitar Rock Pack. I'll be uh, working in Course 1 today. Technically, I've already completed Course 1, um, but recently Fender Play has done some updates and has marked uh, as incomplete. So I'm going back through and checking out what they have made changes or what they added or whatnot. All right, so it looks like there's uh, four videos um, that have been either added or updated. Now, if you look here, the ones marked green, I've already done. In fact, I, as I said, I done course one, I completed it, but because of the updates, I need to go back and, and do these lessons that they have marked um, that I haven't done yet or they have updated. All right, we're gonna start with the introduction. Okay, we have uh, learning to play begins one level at a time. Start with level one overview. Keep going by cho choosing the next lesson on my path. All right, Fender Play is literally having a seizure. <laughs> it does that from time to time. No, why? I either goes green screen or it flickers from time to time. Uh, I just refresh the browser. Sometimes we'll clear it up. I'm your instructor, Eugene. Like, like all, your all your favorite, favorite musicians, musicians, I wasn't born knowing how to play. How to play. I, started I started my journey, journey just, just like, like you. you. By picking, picking up, a up a guitar and deciding. deciding. Let's, Let's dive in. Pick, pick up your, up your finger, finger and put, and it, put right it right here. here. And strum, and strum all, all the strings. The strings. You just played you just your played first chord. chord. And, and you unlocked hundreds, hundreds of songs, of songs that you use it. So what, so else, what else will you learn in level one? Well, by, by the end, end you'll, be you'll be able to play, play five, five new chords, chords and impress your friends, friends with some, with some very, very recognizable riffs and songs. And songs. You're now You're part, not of, part of, of a long legacy, legacy of, Fender of Fender players who all started, all started right where, right where, you, where you are today. today. So what makes so what Fender, makes Fender play, work? play work? We use learning we use hacks, hacks to get you playing your favorite songs as quickly as possible. Because when you get that feeling of playing your first riff or song, there's nothing more than motivating. So where, do you, so where start? do you start? If this is, if your, this first is your first time, time just follow, just follow my, path. my path. It will guide, it will you, guide through you through your learning journey. journey. Here's, how it, Here's how it works. Click on a course, Click on a course and start and by, start taking, by a taking a lesson. Select, Select practice, practice mode and fine tune, and fine -tune those skills, skills you just, just learned. In feedback, In feedback mode, mode, select record, select record and, play and play along to the scrolling tablature. Ready to move on? Head back to my path and mark courses complete. If you want to move, to, want a to, move level, to a higher level, feel free to skip ahead at any time. Any time. If, you if you want to change music styles, you can do, you that, can do too. that too. Choose your preferred, Choose your preferred path, path and just dive, and just dive in. in. You can even change, can even change instruments. instruments. This is a self-paced self program. program. So we'll keep, so your, we'll place, keep your place no matter, where, no you matter go. where you go. And guess what? And guess what? You've already started. You've already started. Come on. Come on. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Now let's go back to course one. And now we've got these three to do. Learn about frets, finger numbers, and how to properly fret with the fingers. In this, in lesson, this lesson, we will learn we will what, learn frets, what are frets are and the proper, and the proper finger, finger placement on frets. Frets are the, frets are the narrow pieces, pieces of metal, metal wire laid across, wire across the, front the front of the neck of your, of your guitar. guitar. This, this is the nut. Is the nut. 
The nut is, the not, nut a is fret. not a fret. The metal wire, the metal next, wire to the next to the nut is the first fret. As we move along, we move the, fret along board, the fret board, we will then get, to the, then get to the second fret. fret. Then the third, then the third fret, fret, and then the fourth, and then the fourth fret, fret, and so on. And so on. You may also you may notice also the notice position the marks, marks, which are dots, which are dots or designs, designs, falling between falling the between number, the number the of the frets on your guitar. On your guitar. You, may also you may also see these on the top, these side, on the top of the side of the neck. These can these be used can to locate a fret, locate fret faster. faster. Most guitars, Most have, guitars them. have them. They usually they can usually be found behind the third, fifth, seventh, and ninth fret with a single dot on your guitar. You may see a double dot behind the twelfth fret. Now that we now know that how we frets, know how are, frets labeled, are labeled, let's learn how let's to frets notes properly. Notes properly. We'll start by we'll going start over by the going names, over of, names our fingers of our fingers we use to fret, fret notes. We have our, we index, have our finger, index finger, which is our first, which is finger. Our first finger. Our middle finger, our, middle finger, our, second, our finger, second finger. Our ring finger, our ring finger which is our third, which is our third finger. And last, and our, last pinky our pinky finger, finger, our finger, our fourth finger. We won't count our thumb as it usually rests behind the neck, supporting the other fingers. Now, let's now, look at how to place the fingers to fret and note properly. And note properly. We'll start on the we'll high, start on the high string string and use our first, our finger, first or finger or finger index to finger to press down, to press down, on, the down on the first fret. Here are some tips are some to help tips fret a note. Help fret a note. Imagine making Imagine an making okay sign okay with your first finger. first finger. Now, squeeze now, or squeeze pinch or the thumb and index finger together. Together. Bring that OK Bring that shape okay onto shape the fretboard fret with, with the thumb behind the neck, behind the neck and your index and your finger index between finger the nut and the first fret the first fret high, e high E string. Squeeze the squeeze string the down string onto down the fretboard. Onto the fretboard. Your thumb should, your be, thumb centered should be centered on the back of the, the, back of the fretboard, not too high, not too and, high not too and not too low. Keep the wrist straight, Keep the wrist straight and the elbow and tucked, the elbow close, tucked to the close to the body. Press down Press with your finger right, finger right, behind, right the behind the fret wire, not on the, not fret, on the fret wire. If you press, if on, you press the fret, on the fret, it will sound muffled, will sound like, muffled this. like this. And if you press and further you away, press further you, have, away, to press you have to press harder. Keep it right Keep behind, it right the, fret behind the fret to get a clear sound. Try to keep your Try index, keep finger, your index curled finger curled and use your fingertip. And use your fingertip. Now let's play the now note, let's with, play the the note with the down pick. Now let's try now fretting let's the try second fret with, with our fret. second or middle, second finger. Or middle finger. Squeeze and pinch Squeeze your middle and finger, your middle and, finger have your and have your thumb balance help balance the support, behind, support the behind the neck. Let's play the note with let's the down Let's play the note with the down pick. Let's play the third let's fret, play the with, third our fret third with our ring third finger. or ring finger. Press down with Press your fingertip, down with your behind, fingertip the behind the Make sure to add Make enough, sure pressure, to add to enough pressure to get sound. Let's play the note with, the down, play the note with the down pick. Finally, let's play Finally, the fourth, let's fret, play with the fourth, fourth fret with our pinky fourth finger. or pinky finger. Our pinky is probably our, pinky is our probably weakest, our finger, weakest and finger and it will require practice, to develop, practice to develop strength. For now, just do, For your, now, best. Just do your best. Let's play the note with a down, play the note with a down pick. Fretting notes will require, notes some, will require patience, some patience, but with a little practice, with a little practice it will soon become second, will soon become second nature. nature. Until next time, Until next happy, time practicing. happy practicing. Learn how to adjust the spring tension on your guitar, on your electric or acoustic guitar. Let's talk about, the, talk basics about the basics of tuning. In this lesson, In this we'll lesson, cover different, we'll types, cover of different tuners, types of tuners, string tension and, string pitch, tension and pitch, and how to turn the tuning to pegs on your guitar to change the pitch. So what is a tuner? So what is a, tuner? a tuner is a device, a tuner is a device that recognizes that the pitch, recognizes of, the pitch each of each guitar string as it is picked. As it, is picked. It, then it then displays this information to show us whether a string's pitch is too high, too low, or in tune. It's important to tune your guitar every time Every time you play, to make sure that the, notes, sure that the chords notes and songs you're learning, songs sound, you're learning right. sound right. A tuner is the fastest, the tuner is the and, fastest most and most accurate way for you to get this done. You to get this there are many different types, are many of, different tuners types of tuners out there, but let's walk through but three, of the, most three ones, of the most common ones, starting with tuning apps, starting with on, tuning your apps on your mobile device. 
These use the built-in microphone, the built -in to, microphone listen to, the to listen to the sound of the guitar strings. To listen to the sound of the guitar strings. Also very popular, also very popular are clip-on clip tuners, which attach, which to, your attach headstock to your headstock and feel the vibrations, feel the vibrations caused when you pick the guitar strings. Sound is Sound vibration, is vibration and, each and each note vibrates, at a, vibrates at a different speed. rate of speed. Lastly, Lastly built-in built tuners. tuners. Some guitars Some even guitars come with, even a, tuner come with a tuner built already in. built in. These work the same These way, as, the a same way as a clip-on tuner, tuner, but are built right, built into, the right into the electronics of the, of the instrument itself. Regardless of the Regardless type of tuner, of type of tuner you use, use they, they all do the same thing. Tune. Tune. The concept of tuning the, concept the guitar, of tuning is, the really guitar is really pretty simple. Each string needs, Each to, be string needs to be adjusted to its designated, to its designated note, or note or pitch. You'll turn the tuning, You'll turn the tuning pegs to tune, pegs guitar, to tune your guitar, and you can only go, in, can two only go in two directions. You'll tighten the string, tighten to, the raise string the to raise the pitch. Just don't tighten too, don't much, tighten or too much, or break. the string may break. And loosen the string, and loosen to, the lower string the to lower the pitch. It can get confusing, it can get to, confusing know what is to know what is up and down and high and low, and when, high working and low with when working guitars. with different guitars. So let's walk through that. So let's walk through that. We are going to learn, going how, to to learn the how to turn the pegs. The tuning pegs, the tuning are, attached pegs to the are attached to the headstock, and there are two common, there are two types, two of common types of peg placement. Inline and in three by three. And three, by three. Pegs all on pegs one side on are technically as inline tuning pegs, like on this Stratocaster. Like on this Stratocaster. To tighten the string, to tighten or, the raise string the pitch, or raise the pitch, turn the knob away turn from the knob you. Away from this, you. Is this is counterclockwise if you're looking, down, if at you're the looking down at the headstock. To loosen the string, loosen or, the lower string the pitch, or lower the pitch, turn the knob toward, turn the knob toward you. you. This is clockwise, this is clockwise if you're looking, down, if you're at looking at down at the headstock. The direction for the tightening direction for and loosening the strings loosening will, be the, the strings will be the same for all six, six strings. Pegs on both pegs sides, on both of, the sides of the headstock are called three, three by three, by three pegs. tuning pegs. Here, I've got an Here, acoustic, got guitar, an acoustic with guitar with three, three, tuning, by three, three tuning, pegs. tuning pegs. On this type of guitar, this type of guitar the top three, the pegs, top three pegs turn in the same, in the same direction as a guitar with n line tuning pegs. But you'll need to reverse the direction on the bottom three pegs. With the top pegs, with the top pegs tighten, or raise, tighten the pitch or raise the pitch by turning the pegs, turning away, the from pegs away from you. Loosen or lower Loosen the pitch, or lower by, the moving pitch by moving you. them toward you. With the bottom pegs, with the bottom it's, the pegs opposite. it's the opposite. Tighten or raise tighten the pitch, or raise by, the turning pitch the by turning the pegs toward you. Loosen or lower Loosen the pitch, or lower by, the turning pitch by turning them away from you. The most important the most thing, important to, do thing to do while tuning your guitar is to, is to listen. Be sure to pick the Be sure string, to pick that, you're the string that you're tuning regularly so that you can hear the so change, can hear in, pitch the change in pitch as you tune. That way you that won't go too far, won't go in, either too far in either direction and you won't necessarily, you won't have, necessarily have to memorize to which way to turn the peg. In time, in your, time ears your ears will help guide you. See you next time. See you next time. Tune up with a the conk tuner. I believe this is the last video. Learn how to use an electronic tuner to tune the guitar. And there's no time, so I won't be playing on playing the guitar here. In this lesson, in this we're lesson, going to learn, we're going how, to to learn an how to use an electronic tuner, tuner, to, tune tuner to tune the guitar. Before we see how they work, see how they let's work, go over some, of the, over some of, of the basics of tuning. The strings on the, the guitar, on the guitar are, tuned are tuned to the notes E, e A, A, D, D, G, G, B, B, and E. And e. If your guitar is, tuned, your guitar to is notes, tuned to those notes, everything you play, everything will, you sound play will sound great. But if they're not, but if they're not, it won't sound great. It won't sound great. If your guitar sounds, your something, guitar like sounds this, something like this, an electronic an tuner electronic can help, tuner you, speed can help you speed process. up the tuning process. So let's see how they work. So let's see how they work. Most electronic, Most electronic tuners, tuners use an LED, use an style, LED display style display that illustrates, that the, illustrates same the same information in slightly, in slightly different ways. ways. Let's look at the most Let's important, at the things, most important you'll see things you'll see display. on a typical display. Start by picking, Start a, string. By picking a string. The note name that the, the tuner hears will, pop up, will pop up on the screen. 
A needle dial, a needle will, also dial will also screen. display on screen. If the needle is centered, the needle on, is the centered display, on the display, then the guitar string, the guitar is, in string is in note. tune to that note. Many tuners Many will highlight tuners this, will fact, highlight this by changing fact by changing color or even beeping. Or even beeping. If the needle is if leaning, the needle left, is leaning of center, left of center, then the guitar string, then the guitar pitch, string is pitch is too low, too low which means the, which note, means is the flat, note is flat, and you would need to tighten the string to get it in tune. If the needle is, leaning, the needle right, is leaning right, then the guitar pitch, the guitar is, too pitch high, is too high, which means the note is sharp, the note is and sharp, you need to loosen the string to get it in tune. We know the large we know letter the large displays the note name, but some tuners will some also tuners display, will a, small also display a small letter on the screen. The smaller letter the smaller indicates, letter the, indicates mode the, the mode is that the tuner is set to. The mode refers, the mode to, refers which to which the instrument the tuner is expecting to read, to read when, a string, when a string is picked. Be sure to have the sure mode, to have set, the mode to set to either a letter G, letter G for guitar, guitar or a letter C, for, a letter C chromatic. for chromatic. Either of these settings either will work, settings while, you will work while you tune your guitar. If any other letter is displayed, the tuner will be set to tune another instrument. Sometimes your guitar Sometimes string your guitar can be, string so, out can be so out of tune that the tuner thinks, the tuner you're, actually thinks you're actually playing a different, playing string, a different or string or note. So here are some helpful, so here are tips. Some helpful tips. If you haven't memorized, if you haven't the, memorized string names, the string names, keeping a list of them a handy list of them can help handy lead, you in, help the right lead you in the right direction. You can use a reference, use a pitch, reference like pitch like the Fender Tune app and Manual, app and manual and your ears and your ears to help you get to your strings get closer, your to, strings the right closer to the right notes. The electronic the tuner can then take, you, can the rest then take the you the rest of the way. If all else fails, all else visit, fails your local music visit your local music shop and, shop and, ask, for and ask for assistance. There is a little bit there of a learning curve to using an electronic tuner, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to spend less time tuning and more time playing.